Hey everybody, I am Sarah Ayler and I'm the sales and marketing manager for softlexcompany.com. I have been with them for 22 years and this week we are celebrating Customer Appreciation Week. So what does that mean exactly? Well, um, for us, it means we have been in business for nearly 30 years now and we've only been able to do that through collaboration, with feed stores and distributors, and then with each and every one of you out there that uses our product. Um, and so we wanted to celebrate that in kind of an, a, an, an, a unique and special way. And how we're going about doing that is inviting some of our favorite store owners to come and teach you a class offering a kit to go along with the class. So you could have bought it ahead of time and then make and take with them and with us um, for that matter. And, um, or you can buy the kit now as they're making them if they still have some available or buy some other fun things from them and maybe catch some of their future videos. And so it's been really fun so far. We got to spend some time with Andrew from Allegory Gallery yesterday. He painted some pendants and made a beautiful necklace using our champagne colored soft flex. We spent some time with Abby from the bead place this morning. She made a beautiful bangle using our 024 heavy soft flex, which I think a lot of people um, forget even exists because I use 019 so much, you guys. I know all of you that watch me regularly probably don't have a lot of 024 in your stash, or if you do, maybe you haven't known how to use it. Um, and I think her bangle was a really excellent way of using that product. It's also great anytime you have any abrasive materials or anything that's going to be really rough or harsh um, bracelets. If you can get them on 024, they're going to be so much better long term on that thicker wire. Um, so it's a great it's a great diameter. And then just recently we saw Kristen, who's here right now with our friend Kay from uh, Stars Beats and Clasps, and she made a fantastic pair of earrings. So tonight, I'm gonna be looking at our butterfly garden design kit that we opened last night. Kristen made a beautiful macrame bracelet uh, with a beaded daisy in the center, a couple of them actually, really fantastic. I'm gonna make something uh, tonight with you with that same kit, and then tomorrow night, at 4.30, we're gonna open the um, Summer Rain Design Kit. Tomorrow is kit day. It's usually our favorite day of the month at Softlex. We launch our new kit, we reveal our last kit. It's usually a really big, big day. This week, everything's a big day. I mean, it's just like a big week. We're having so much fun um, beating with you all, but I rushed over there's some secrets in here, so I can't show you everything. But I rushed over to Sonoma between videos and I grabbed my kit. This is the Purple Petal Design Kit. It will go on sale tomorrow on the Softlex website. It is next month's kit. There is a limited supply on those as usual. Um, and we do have a few of the Summer Rain kits left if you wanted to grab one. And then sneak peek, tomorrow's Purple Petal bead strand also goes on sale and we'll have a couple other really fun things um, that we'll be putting on sale tomorrow so i went and got them so i could take pictures because i'm the picture person in addition to the demonstration person <laughs> for, for the company and that's how small businesses work right i'm going to flip over to my hand camera and let's take a look at this kit and the design that i have been working on today. If you've been having a great time for Customer Appreciation Week, will you give us a thumbs up um, and, and a like symbol? We love to see that you're having a good time, that it's worth the work and energy and thought that we put into it. I hope you're getting a lot out of it. I'd love to hear who your favorite presentation has been so far. So put their name into the comments. Let me know what you're loving and um, and enjoying during this super fun week of customer appreciation. So this was a beautiful kit. 
we've done a lot of blues this year in our kit. So Kristen and I, when we sat down at the drawing board to create this kit, we wanted to deviate from that a little bit and focus in on some of our other colors that we have that are beautiful. And uh, since we knew we were going to do multiple designs from this kit, we thought it would be helpful to put in three colors of soft flex. Uh, we have got our spinel, our purple amethyst, and our pink tourmaline. This particular kit is sold out. However, we do have some of the bead mixes left. And in fact, this is the last day, you guys, that if you buy the 2021 spring summer quad, you get this bead mix for free. This whole Jesse James custom made for soft flex bead mix, the butterfly garden bead mix will pop into your basket for free only tonight. It's over tomorrow if you buy the quad. And you can also buy these separately if you just want to get an extra bead mix, but you don't need any wire right now. Uh, it's $10.49 for a, an extra bead mix. And um, as you can see, it's a beautiful selection of purples and pinks and tanzanite, all very uh, nicely going with the quad. So they work really, really well together. So this bead mix came in the kit. The... This is what we call our mystical trio. Mystical trio came in the kit. That's always been one of our most popular trios that we've sold. Um, it also came with a lot of different findings. It had head pins. It had um, some crimps, some jump rings, some butterfly connectors or beads, depending on how you want to use it some butterfly charms from Tierra Cast. Both of these are from Tierra Cast. Lots of ear wires, a lobster clasp, some beautiful check glass carrier beads in a really lovely lavender color. I'm gonna use those today. And then this awesome button. We went around and around with our button guy about this button because we wanted just the perfect button to match this kit with this trio and we sent him the colors and he must have sent us you guys 20 button options and we went we we're like nope nope not that one uh-uh nope uh-uh not gonna work until finally he was you know distraught <laughs> he could, couldn't find the right one and then after pushing and pushing look what he came up with we knew it was there. We knew he had it. We just knew we had to push and push to finally find it. And it is like the perfect button for this mix. So I hope you guys are really loving. It's made from a vintage button mold. Um, and it's just a gorgeous check glass piece. I'm really glad we were able to get that into, um, into this kit. And then we also uh, had some gorgeous two whole triangle beads, which I'm gonna be using today. These beautiful fire polish, some smaller pink fire polish, and oh, and this butterfly toggle was in there as well, which I've already started using, as you can tell. I was playing around as Abby was beading this morning to kind of get an idea of what I, I might start out making. I think I'm gonna make this bracelet, but I might make some other things too um, while I have all of my beads out. So I hope if you have this kit that you will pull your beads out as well. You don't have to make exactly what I'm making unless you want to. You're welcome to if you want to. If you wanna make something um, that is your own unique creation, I would love to see it in our Facebook group after uh, the live show. And in fact, every time we do a mystery design kit, we invite you to post pictures of what you make in our Softlex Very Important Beading Studio group. You have about a month to post pictures and every design that you post is an entry to win our next available kit. And we will randomly choose a winner at the end of next month. And, um, and we'll also post some of the pictures of the things that you make on our blog. 
uh, probably toward the end of next month or the beginning of the following month as well. Um, so it's a kind of a fun way for us to see what you make with all these same beads that we have and, um, and also a, a nice little contest so that you can, um, you can join in on the fun. Okay, so I started out here. I'm gonna do this beginning part with a different toggle and then we'll kind of pick up the um, pattern and then I will finish it out on this design here. So I took a pretty nice size piece of the purple amethyst. You could definitely use a different color if you wanted it to have more of a pink color to it. You could go with the pink tourmaline or the spinel. That purple amethyst kind of peeks out of the clear beads, which I really liked in Kristen's design yesterday. So I kind of wanted to incorporate that into mine as well. And I liked that the amethyst was, uh, you know, a little bit of a different darker color than the beads that I was using. So that's why I chose that color. But if you want to be more monochromatic, you want the same color to run throughout your design, maybe you would choose the pink tourmaline. Uh, the spinel is also going to be a little bit darker. And so it's going to have a different uh, look when it goes through those clear beads as well. Um, but I'll leave that up to you. Why don't we choose a different color for my second design? And I'm going to use the spinel, which was in the kit. And let me see, I'm going to get about the same amount of wire that I had here. And I might even measure it since I know some of you may be making this with me. Just going to bring this down and do a quick, maybe just a little bit more. And this is probably too much, the wire that I'm getting. I'm demonstrating it on live camera. So I'm going to usually go a little too far with my wire, um, but I know it'll work. So that's kind of the trick. And then whatever's left, you can always use for a pair of earrings. Using my trusty old fusion beads <laughs> um, tape measure I've had for years. I'm using about 30 inches of beading wire. And I am going to scoochie out and give myself a little space here. I am going to use this copper butterfly toggle. The kit came with the silver. They're very similar. We have them in copper and gold on the website. If you want to get them in another color tone, you can do that. Softlex crimps come in four different metal tones. And I am going to find a copper crimp tube to use. So now I'm going to string my wire through my toggle to the center of the wire. And then I'm going to take both of those two wires and string them through my two by two millimeter crimp tube. And if you're making it from the kit, they'll be silver color. I'm using copper to match my um, finding here. They come in copper. Uh, the crimps come in copper, gold filled, sterling silver, and black oxidized. So I'm just going to attach like so, and then I can come in with my crimping pliers, straightening out my wires to the best of my ability inside that crimp tube so I get a nice clean attachment. I'm going to come in with my crimping pliers. It is ravioli time, friends. I am going to squeeze and create what looks like a little four corner ravioli turn it on its side and squeeze and just go around it a bunch of times, squeezing and setting it down into that nylon coating till it becomes like a little round, little round bead. There you go. And then the pattern I was making here um, is really fun. I'll go through that pattern too. But I wanted to show you that you can take these carrier beads and turn them sideways as well 
This is a design that I made in the Great Beat Extravaganza um, for June. You can go back and find this video if you want to. Anytime you have a two hole bead, you can string it this way, you know, with your two holes, but you can also turn it this way. And that goes for uh, these pieces here too. These triangles, as long as you can get two wires through it. These triangles have really tiny holes though. I think you could only do one wire through. Um, so that does make it a little trickier. You would have to do one wire and like connect if you wanted to do it sideways. But I was using them this way in this design anyhow. So here is my design so far. I took two of the little small clear beads that came with the triangles <clears throat> and I strung one on each of the wires. Then I took each wire and I went through one of those two whole triangles. Then I took each wire and I strung one of the little pink fire polish that came in the kit, they are a strand. I broke those open. I strung one of each of those and a carrier bead, which also has two holes. So one wire through each of the holes. And then I went to the pink, the triangle, clear, triangle, pink, carrier, pink, triangle, clear, triangle. And this is where I left off because I wanted to test something out with you guys um, while I have you here. I'm gonna try putting the button in the center and see if it will hold it so that it doesn't uh, flip flop because I've got two wires running through it. Let's see. What, Sylvia? How would you string the carrier beads sideways? Having problems visualizing. Oh, let me show you. So when I made this design, I did that same thing we just did at the beginning of um, this design. I centered my toggle and crimped so I have two wires. And then I took one wire and strung it through the carrier bead this way. And then I took the other wire and I strung it through the carrier bead this way. And I just keep going back and forth with those two wires, creating this shape. And then it creates sort of a fun, um, reminds me kind of a Middle Eastern shape, like a teapot shape or something. Really, really fun. We have a clasp that I feel like a temple clasp that looks a lot like this, maybe like a little Buddha temple or something. Hopefully that helps. And then if you wanted to add in your charm, I showed you how to do that on the end here with this design. We still have these succulent charms in, um, in our stash. If you wanna pick any of those up, you can do that. And we also have the butterfly charms in both copper, and gold, if you wanted to pick any of those up. I feel like this dragonfly sold out. We had this cute little gold dragonfly, but I think it is, it is all gone. Okay, so let's get back over here. Does anybody else have any questions? I'm making a bracelet, Mary. Mary asked, are you making a bracelet or a necklace? I'm making a bracelet today, I think. But you never know, since I'm doing things on the fly, <laughs> things can change. Um, Debbie asked a little while ago, are there any more of these kits? No, but there are more of the, the bead mixes. So if you want to grab one of the Butterfly Garden bead mixes and a Mystical Trio, and maybe some of these cute little butterfly charms and toggles, you could definitely do that but no full kits left. The succulent just left in gold. All of our gold charms are selling out. I don't know what is going on. You guys are way into the gold lately. So what I was hoping to see would happen, and I have not tested this yet, you guys. 
I'm not sure if I want to put a couple more beads there, if I want to go right up to this triangle. The only thing I tested was, is this the right length? And I think it is to get me to the center and add that button. And I think what's going to happen when I add my second triangle is it's going to hold this button so that it doesn't twist. Does that make sense? We'll see. We'll see if it works the way I am visualizing. I did find a couple of these triangles didn't have really open holes. If that is the case for you, get a needle and just poke. And a lot of times whatever is in there will pop out. Okay, let's see if it works. I always get questions because we've been selling so many buttons lately. I always get questions. How do you keep it from turning over or moving around? I'm always like, that's a good question. How do you do that? And I am going to be doing um, some sort of button class next Wednesday. I promised to try to make earrings with buttons, um, which I'm still working on exactly how I'm going to do that. So I could do this like this, I could also flip my triangles so that they're flat on this side and it might work a little better. So let's try that. What happens if we flip the triangle just in the center where the button is and see what it looks like? Thank you for popping in, Sue. It's great to see you. Let's see, Debbie is asking, does the garden bead mix have any of the meta pieces or butterflies? It just has what's in this mix here. Just this bead mix. And you'll see a clear picture of it when you go to the website, it will show everything that is in that bead mix. All right, let's see if it, hangs out just a little better on the flat side. And then I want to test and see how is it going to feel on my wrist having those triangles. Let's see, I want it to go this way. I love these check triangles. This is a very unusual shape for us. Oh, that's feeling even better, you guys. So when I go to wear it, it'll be pretty secure, I think. And then I can go ahead and recreate my same pattern on the other side. So I'm gonna grab a couple of those clear beads. Kristen, are you going to use this kit next Monday, do you think? Are you going to use the triangles still? Kristen has a live show for Softflex on Mondays at 2 p.m. Pacific if you're interested in checking her out. She is on our Softflex YouTube channel and Facebook page. I would love to see what Kristen makes out, makes with these cool triangles. There you go. Yeah, that worked great. I'm loving how that looks. Okay, so let's keep going. This is where I always mess up when I'm doing a live video, when I have to make a, a symmetrical pattern on the other side. <laughs> Because I get busy seeing what you guys are saying. Oh, thank you, Debbie. Debbie said, what a lovely way to use the button. I love it. Yeah, it's fun to use buttons um, as centerpieces. I also love them for toggle clasps. Um, I'm, I'm really curious about making them into earrings. We had some really beautiful buttons in our last live sale. And I promised everyone I would figure out a way to make them into an earring because I have a pair of buttons that I bought at the live sale 
that I would like to be a pair of earrings. So I'm going to do that. And I'm just recreating that same pattern carefully, trying not to miss anything. Grab two more of those. Let's see, Kristen says, I may use it again. I really wanted to try those triangles. <laughs> oh, thank you. And she loves the button as the focal. Julie says, these buttons are so pretty. They deserve to be a focal. Also having them on top rather than as a clasp reduces chances of breaking. Good point. Yeah, good point. I think it'll be a good weight variation with the toggle too. So it may even sit on my wrist, but I don't know, maybe it'll swing under. It's always kind of hard to tell the weight distribution until you actually wear something. Okay, another triangle. And I can't, just like every other kit, I can't wait to see what you guys end up making with this uh, design kit. Post it in the VIB group. Tag it with hashtag cost so we can find it. And we will have two kits running next month that you're posting from both this, the customer appreciation kit, but also that summer rain kit that we're opening tomorrow. So it's gonna be a really fun month of inspiration with whatever you guys end up making. I like opening it up right first thing in the morning, the VIB group, and seeing what new things you guys have posted in there. So there are designs that, um, that you guys make with these kits that just blow me away. And then also, if you make anything from any of the other designers kits, I know Abby was saying she'd love to see what you make. I saw a really great design there already, Abby, if you're still here, um, that someone had made using your Jupiter design, um, but making it, giving it a Southwest flair, which was awesome. Um, so definitely post those there too. Debbie's asking, what's the best way to store wires? I think we have a great blog post about that, about how people store things. Maybe Damien can take a look or Kristen can take a look and post a link to that um, and, and check it out. We, um, I am not, I'm not the right person to ask. I store them in a box and it's a mess. So I know some people like to use ribbon holders um, or they look in like the gift wrapping type of storage and that works really well. So yeah, but I do know we have a blog all about storage. That's pretty great. Okay, so now I'm doing another one of those pretty pink opal check glass beads on each strand. And, and if you didn't want to do beads for every single piece of the wire, you could wrap in and out. You know, I showed you this version, but you can also just put a big bead in the center. Maybe I'll make one. I'll do a second bracelet showing that with this piece after we get this one done. So I'll stay focused. We'll finish this. And then maybe I can show you how how to show more of the wire in your design as well. Um, Debbie, the website is softlexcompany.com, but I bet one of my coworkers will post a link as soon as they figure out how to find it. Our blog is always really kind of tricky because we have so much information on there. So just give them a minute to, to locate it. But if you wanted to look, oh, there it is. Thank you, Damien. Um, but if you wanted to look through our blog, which is an immense amount of information, you can go to our website anytime, which is softlexcompany.com. And I see Kristen says, I use a plastic art supplies carrier. It fits two rows of wire spools nicely with a handle in the center. 
I do have extra in a box, but at least the carrier has one of each color. Oh, that's nice. I've got a big messy box. I'm gonna be really honest. I might even shamefully post a picture of it after this live so you guys can see <laughs> just how bad it looks. And then maybe everybody can give me their best ideas <laughs> for, for what I should do. Um, Becky says, some people use Ziploc bags and put each gauge in a different Ziploc bag and write the gauge on the bag. That's what I did initially. I bought Ikea boxes and I had one for 014, 019 and 024. And then I had another one for like stretch cord and leather and really somewhere in the process of moving from, um, Arizona to California. It just kind of became a nightmare. And in fact, I just took like a humongous bag of partially used 10 foot spools to Rosa and said, hey, we should probably give these away because I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. So you guys might start seeing some partially used spools in your giveaway bags from the live sale. Okay, let me check. I need two more clear beads and then let me check the size on this. It's looking kind of short, but I don't know. Let me do a bead stopper so that I don't lose all my beads like that. And then I can do a quick test. Let me move this bracelet back just a little. I could even take this bracelet off, I guess, and test it that way. Hmm, it's looking a little short. So what do we want to do in that case? Because I've already crimped here. I could add more beads on both sides, but I could also do something like I did here to add a little length. I could add a charm. I have these cute little butterfly charms. So why don't we do that to give it just that little bit of extra length that we're needing? Because it's looking like I'm almost a full bead. Hmm, isn't that funny how that ends up happening? So I'm gonna crimp this together Take my two wires. And crimp the piece together. You can also attach jump rings to your toggle clasp and make the clasp a little bit longer if this happens to you. You can use chain if you want to add a little chain and then add that to your toggle clasp. You can do that too. If you're making with me, you may want to add some more beads. Just take it apart, add a few more beads, like another section um, to the center. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and crimp. Getting my little ravioli who's ready for dinner. And then spin and compress. I wonder about these things too, this cute little butterfly guy. So you could string will two wires fit through, yep. String that cute little butterfly. Oh, how cute is that little guy? He's so cute. That's an option. You could do it on one wire. and then crimp. It's probably what I'll do. And that'll kind of hold it looking like a butterfly. Adorable. And I think I ended up crimping my toggle. Trying to decide that's gonna be enough that this will fit. 
feel like I need, let's do a few more beads there with this cute little butterfly. Will this fit through both? Nope, but it will fit through one. Hmm. This is problem solving on your feet. Oops, let's put it on this one. I'm just adding a little bit of bead in there. And I might add a pink bead. Looking to see what I maybe have in the mix that I might like to add in. It's interesting, there aren't very many like little beads and it's a lot of gold in the bead mix which we ended up with silver somewhere else. Kind of like this color is pretty. That could be kind of fun on the end. Let's try it. Let's try it. Ooh, are these ones? Kind of in love with these ones. It's crimped, you could maybe trim one of those wires. Yeah, I could, but I kind of want it to um, hold my butterfly. You'll see what I mean when I'm done. Because if I don't, the butterfly kind of flops a little bit. And I want it to hold, so. have a feeling this is going to be one of those like happy accidents where I'm like oh I kind of like how that turned out let's make sure it's not too long now isn't that the problem you're like oh now it's too long <laughs> no it's just right <laughs> it'll work yeah I think it'll kind of hold it so it doesn't spin around quite as much All right, and I put both wires through the crimp. And then I'm gonna go through my toggle, go back into my crimp. You could totally, if you're a symmetrical person and this doesn't work for you, you can go back and add in more beads to the pattern. You don't have to um, go symmetrical at the end. I have been trying to break free of my symmetrical ways. And, um, and so I've been, you know, working on it. When I am afforded the opportunity to be asymmetrical, I do take it now. Whereas before, I probably would have taken it apart and tried to put it back together, you know, in the same pattern. Um, I think I'm just going to go for it this way, though. And I think I will love it even more. Okay, so I've got my crimp tube. Did you see that I took my one of my wires, passed it into my toggle, and then I went back into that crimp tube? And then I'm gonna go ahead and crimp. If you have a, something that is difficult for you, like say it's a color everybody loves and you just have a hard time with it like blue or yellow yellow might be a good a good one to think of um don't be afraid don't be afraid to push yourself by those yellow beads see what how it feels maybe it won't be for you but it's okay to test it out it's okay to be asymmetrical even if you normally do symmetrical work. That's how we learn new things and um, and are able to grow and change. And now I bet I have a bracelet that fits quite nicely. And look at that. It's just like an extra large 
clasp on the end. And then you've got that beautiful button. I love that button. It's so pretty. And I'm glad I can showcase it. And it does have some good weight differential. Like I don't feel like it's gonna, the button's gonna slide to the bottom. I think it will sit on top, which is nice. Let's see, Sylvia is asking, going back through the crimp means there are three total wires going through. Yes, it does. It does mean that. What size crimp tube is it? It is a two by two millimeter crimp tube, which is what I use most of the time. And all of this is the medium sized soft wax. Oh, thank you for all those very pretty compliments. Yes, the center is off. Center is off because you covered your center triangles with that gorgeous focal button. Yeah, no, I know it's a little off. I'm, I mean, the pattern is not symmetrical. But I like it. I'm happy with it. But yes, it is definitely not a symmetrical pattern. You are correct about that. Um, any other questions? Oh, thank you. It did turn out lovely. I will take pictures of it and I will post it into um, onto our Instagram. I did want to take this other copper one and do a different kind of pattern with it uh, using these beads. So let me just go this way and we will play around. What was it that I was thinking? I had an idea in my head. I said, I want to try that. And then I have lost track of it, of course. Hmm. Hmm. I don't remember, but I'm going to do, I'm just going to play around with the carrier beads going the opposite direction. And maybe it'll come to me. I feel like it had something to do with these beads. <laughs> I should have, I'm telling you, I need to keep my sketch pad with me while I'm beating because I forget what I'm doing. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for those sweet comments. Somebody was asking about how to use the carrier beads the other direction. So you stick one wire in one side, one wire in the other side. If you like that design, please do give me a thumbs up or a heart. That is the very best way to tell me that you like it. And then I can just bring that down to that bead. And that will have it hang out the other direction instead of stringing it this way. Oh, I know what I was gonna do. I was gonna show you how you can have the wire showing. Now I remember. Actually, let's do, let's do one this way. And then we can do one the other way on the same design. So I'm just taking one wire one direction and one wire the other. This is the spinel colored wire that came in the kit. And we do have these carrier beads in a variety of colors on the website. And you can actually bead on top of them. If you go on YouTube, and look for uh, carrier bead patterns. I think Jill Wiseman has some good ones. You can bead over the top of it with seed beads. And that can be a lot of fun, um, fun to learn how to do as well. So what I had been thinking was, well, let's go this way. I think I had to, I did a crimp on these for a reason on both ends, so let me do that. if I remember correctly. So this is a nice way to show the wire off in your design. So it becomes part of the design, not just seen through the middle of the beads, but actually a part of the design itself. You can use one strand, but you need like a dummy strand inside of there too for it to hold well. So Marisol was asking, can we use just one strand of wire with the magical crimper or should the wire fill the crimp? It's better if there's more wire in the crimp 
And so a lot of times if I'm doing one strand, you'll see me use an, a little extra piece of wire and that gives it just a little bit more nylon to hold on to. I'm gonna crimp this in place and then we're gonna do the opposite direction. So what I mean by that is I'm gonna take this bead, if it'll take both wires, which I think it will, that direction, and then I can take the carrier bead and do one wire through each hole. And this is what I was thinking earlier. So you can see the wire. So not only can you do it this direction, but you can do it this way if you're bringing the wire back in with one bead, it'll allow you to show off that wire color because the two holes are wider than the one bead it gives you just like a little bit of a shape there that's kind of a fun pattern and then you can crimp again and maybe do another one of those So take both wires through your crimp tube if they will behave themselves. <laughs> and then I can crimp on the side of this bead just like I did on this one. And if you felt like it, I guess you could crimp on either side of that bead and that would give you a little more metal running through your design which look really pretty. And then I can go the other direction again if I want to and keep going. Um, because these carrier beads come in lots of different colors, you can intermix your colors too, which could be a lot of fun. Don't pull it too tight on one side. <laughs> I got a little exuberant there. Want it to be pretty equal on both sides, maybe just a touch more there. Don't pull it too tight that it doesn't fit between those two wires really well. That gives you the best. Let's see. Kate, Lydia says, Kate says, you're the boss of those beats. I love Kate Richburg. She is a longtime supporter of Softlux, and we just absolutely love her. I am, agree, Jenny. I was just thinking you could make some really fun, interesting earrings using these carrier beads. I was just thinking that too. And uh, Brenda, thank you for saying it's a cute pattern. Do, yes. Robin says, save your wire scraps for dummy strands, but also for earrings. You can make all sorts of beautiful earrings with little pieces of soft flex that are left over. So, for example, I've got these nice long pieces of purple from my bracelet. These are perfect for earrings. You can make them into a round shape. You can make it into a teardrop shape. You can take them and weave them sort of in the same deal, like a ladder stitch. And um, as long as you can go through the beads twice, you can make a long, sweet earring of beaded beads in a ladder stitch like this, making circles. You go up one more. Easy, great way to show the wire color 
And oh, look at how interesting that is. That just automatically came down. Look at that fun shape. But I was going up here. <laughs> Keep going to the top and then make a little loop and hang it. And if you have, if it's doing that bendy thing, you just kind of play with it. It's so malleable, this wire. It is really, really easy to work with, really fun, great product to work with in so many fun colors and diameters. The options are pretty limitless. You can turn the bead in the other direction. Yeah, I think you could too. Mm -hmm. I agree. So we you missed ravioli time, Susan. Did you get your drink out? Mercedes says she loves the alternating carrier beads. I will keep working on this design and post a picture of it, but I think that's kind of a fun design too, isn't it? That would make a fun necklace. If you just did the whole thing, you'd have to have a few more beads than what we have in this kit. But I, I could see that being a really, really beautiful necklace too. <coughs> so I will finish up what I've got here on my bead table and I will post pictures uh, tomorrow probably because it is getting to the time when my family starts getting frisky and wanting dinner. So I'm going to go make them dinner and spend a little time with my uh, with my littles. You got to see one of them earlier today. I see uh, that they posted the pre-order link for our customer appreciation mug. I made these for the presenters as a thank you gift. And I just thought they were so cute that maybe some of you would want one too. And so we, we're opening it up for pre-order and I'm gonna stuff it with some goodies. I will personally stuff it. So it's gonna have some beads from us, some wire, a variety of things. And then also some things from the presenters that they've graciously offered to send to us, um, like a bracelet from Abby. There is going to be some stuff from TierraCast, Jesse James Beads coupons, um, from like Murex Looms and more. I, I'm pretty sure most people said they were going to send something. So we will have a variety of things inside of the mug. I see a lot of you have or ordered it. And do you know what it says, guys? Have you seen what it says yet? It says, beads are the seeds of inspiration. Friends help grow the garden. And that's how I feel about my bead friends. Um, not just the ones on this mug, but all of you too. You know, um, we have the beads, but I feel like the community that we create is just as important as all of the jewelry that we're creating. And I hope you're feeling part of that community throughout this week uh, with Customer Appreciation Week here for Softlax. So thank you for spending time with us again today. I hope you enjoyed your time with Abby. I hope you enjoyed your time with Kay. Um, please look them up and join their Facebook groups, like their pages go to their YouTube channels. And if you have an opportunity and wanna buy something from them, please do. Abby has over a hundred kits. Kay has some fantastic dagger kits left. You can go into her uh, special stash group and still order those. Um, and I will be back tomorrow with Kristen. It's a Kristen and Sarah kit day. We're gonna open the summer rain kit at 4.30 tomorrow. And then um, we will have our new purple petal design kit available, uh, as well as a few other new items as of tomorrow. Tonight is the last night to get your free butterfly garden bead mix with order of the quad. So get on that if you wanted to get one of those. And who's up tomorrow? I don't have my schedule. You know what? I have it in here. Who is up tomorrow? I'm pretty sure the schedule's in here somewhere. There we go. Tomorrow, Wednesday at 1230, just beat it. And I think Kristen will be here with Joyce 
um, at 12.30 if you want to join them, uh, 3.30 Eastern Time. And then at 2.30 Pacific, 5.30 Eastern Time, I'll be here with Elena from Mirix Looms. And then tomorrow night, even though it says just Kristen, it will be both Kristen and I opening the Summer Rain Design Kit together and uh, making something. At least Kristen will make something. I may bust open mine and make something too. Um, but then I'll make something with it again on Thursday. So lots of beading to be done. Let's see what Just Beat It had this great design. And then Mirix Looms, this is what's up tomorrow, you guys. They're making beaded beads. And then they're going to make it into a sun catcher. And then we're going to do looming with Softflex beading wire with Mirix Looms. And it is going to be... It's going to be great. I'm excited to see it all. And I hope you guys are having a great week. Thank you for the likes and shares on our videos. And I will see you again tomorrow. We'll be here at 1230 Pacific uh, with Just Beat It.